Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys a quick tutorial on how to upgrade from the evaluation version of Windows Server 2025 to the full version. Before we get started with that video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so all we're going to do to start is we're just going to pull up our command prompt. So we'll type CMD and go ahead and run this as administrator. From here, we're just going to run a series of commands. We're going to start with the online slash get current edition. These are the DISM commands. And this is just going to tell us what we have right now. OK, so I have server standard for demonstration purposes. I do not currently have the evaluation version, but you'll probably see server standard eval or server standard evaluation, which is normal. So again, this command is going to tell us what we have now. Next up, we're going to run this command. Again, we'll paste all these in the description box below so you guys can simply copy and paste. Uh, this is get target additions, and this is going to show us the available upgrades we have. So as we can see, we have server turbine or server data center. And so either of those would be viable options in terms of upgrading. And it just depends on what upgrade we want to make. It is important to know based on which server key you purchased, what addition you have. So be sure to make that distinction and you'll want to have your product key ready for the next step. All right, guys, so here is the next command. Again, we'll have this in the description for you to copy and paste. Note that the set addition area will be specific to which version you're upgrading to. So if I was on server standard eval and I wanted server standard, I would keep this as server standard. If you're going to the data center version, you would put the data center, so server data center. Here is where your 25 digit product key goes in place of the X's. Again, we're not going to place one here because we're simply just demoing the upgrade process. You would press enter here. And then of course it's returning this is not a valid key, but in your case, it'll actually go ahead and start the upgrade process. After restart, you can run this command here, slmgr forward slash DLI. This is going to tell us which version we have and whether it's licensed. In my case, I have Windows Server Standard Edition, and it's licensed. And we have a partial product key as well. And the last command we can run is slmgr forward slash ATO, assuming that we're not automatically licensed at this point. As we can see, I've already successfully activated server. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025 or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.